Well, science and health are advancing each day, so you might be confused when you hear contradicting health studies, like is coffee good for your eyesight or not? I hope it is. But when it comes to your kids' health, contradicting stories can be scary for parents. Dr. Lewis first has some advice. Parents have been reporting to me that they're having difficulty understanding some of the children's health stories that are in the news. Because one story will say one thing and the next story will say the next. So let me anchor some basic information that will help you understand children's health in the news. First, when you hear a children's health story, you need to determine if it's a study, which will prove something, or whether it's an interesting story about a child, which is fun to listen to, but doesn't necessarily prove anything. In terms of studies, you need to understand that if you hear about a study and it works in a test tube or on an animal or on an adult, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work in a child. So be careful and talk to your health care professional to see if it's relevant to your own child. In addition, I like studies that are valid and reliable ones, meaning studies that might fo follow children over a period of time or that might randomize children or families into different groups to see who does better with a particular treatment. On the other hand, I'm a little more cautious about studies that report on surveys because children and parents have to remember things from weeks, months, even years back, and they may not be as valid or reliable. It's also important to listen to numbers in health news stories. For example, if it's reported that the risk of a disease has doubled, it may mean that risk has gone from 1% to 2%, and you still have a 98% chance of not getting that disease, so you don't need to worry. It's also important to realize that reporters, if they're writing for a newspaper, have a limited word count, and if they're on television or radio, may only have a short amount of time to tell you about a study. So if you hear something and you think it might affect your child, sit down with your child's health care professional and go over that study together to see if it's of relevance to your family. So that hopefully, tips like this will headline what you need to know when it comes to gaining a better understanding of children's health stories in the news. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.